Shmi and the Schmoes transcended music and art. It was more than just a band. It was a movement. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, I I would say that in its prime, Shmi and the Schmoes was the greatest band of all time. Yeah, man. All yeah, time. man. All time. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, what yeah. about the potato chips? Oh, come on. Potato chips. chips. What are you talking about? He said not to mention the potato chips. I didn't want to compete. You're going to cut a record deal. Here you get. All right, I'm going to get a juice box. Right. Yeah, man. The last time we played was at the Poetry Festival, and way before that, things were starting to fall apart. But before before it started to fall apart, things were pretty good. Um, well, we all met through the CHS uh, marching bands um, fall freshman year, and then the Shans came in a year later, and there was instant musical chemistry, good vibes. It's just yeah, I, I love I love the feel. Yeah, I came up with the name, because I am the Shmi, and they are my loyal Shmoes. We were jamming every uh, third Tuesday, just letting the beat flow. Things were really good. Shmi and the Schmoes changed the music industry forever. I mean, their concerts were unreal. You could feel the music. Their music got me through some really tough times, and for that, I'm just eternally grateful. Um, I mean, you know, everyone has a favorite, you know, some like Harrison, some like Sean. I personally am Team Stu. He's just, just a great guy, you know? Personally, I'm a Sean fan. Sean McCarty or Sean O'Donnell? Oh, McCarty. Really, is anyone an O'Donnell fan? Yeah, the fans really only come to the shows to see me because I bring the, the, the fire and the uh, action to the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Things were going really well until O'Donnell's head started blowing up like a balloon. Start bossing everyone around. Uh, even made us pledge our allegiance to the Shmi. Pretty sure he's a fascist at the time. I didn't know what was going on sometimes. Sometimes he'd get really mad and he'd yell at us. I'd get really scared. No! It's all wrong! It's all wrong! Oh my god! Was this garbage on your strings? It's garbage? It's wrong! Oh! Oh my! Oh, oh my god! Here! There! I fixed it! I fixed your playing! Yeah. Here, let me fix this some more. Just, just, just let me, just let me fix it. There. It's fixed. He once called me an unsanitary doorknob. At first, I didn't get it, but when I thought about it, it really, really hurt. Well, the first issue was O'Donnell becoming a dictator, of course, and then a second problem came to light. Chris in his swivel chair. So really, the downfall was Chris in the swivel chair. I know I take some responsibility in introducing him to the swivel chair and starting his addiction. We planned on it being a one-time deal. O'Donnell said swivel chair because it rhymed, and then Chris came out and started his solo. We got a lot of laughs and applause. It was great, but then things started to spin out of control. Pun intended. I mean, they said I had a problem that uh, I wasn't myself anymore. I mean, to be honest, I think they really blew out of, out of proportion. Do you still have the swivel chair after all this time? I mean, I don't see that how that's important. I mean, it wasn't really affecting the band in any way. I just need a minute. Well, the combination of Sean O'Donnell being an autocrat and Chris's raging swivel dependence, the band really kind of started to fall apart. 
I think I really knew Shmi and the Schmoes was over when I texted the guys asking to jam, and they all responded with, nah. I couldn't really believe it. Are you, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Really? Do you want to take a break? No, it's... Some water, maybe? It's just a little hard to talk about. No guys, I can't believe it's really over. We had it going good. We sure did. Right, Sean? Yeah. <sighs> but but is it really over, guys? Whoa. Hey. Whoa.